So the other day I was working on creating some families, annotation families, when I realized there are some types of families that are not available in the family category where we can create a, a annotation family from the beginning. So if we go to file section and create a new family in the English template and in annotation section, the available categories are just these options. We have door tags, we have generic tags, grid head, level head, room tag, view title, and window tag, things like this. But for example, some tags like floor tags, calm tags, or mm, view reference, or these type of things are not in here. We have a lot of different annotation. We have a lot of different types of um families that are needed in the project and to create them i have a trick that you can use for similar types of families so for example let's take a view reference as an example so if we go to view tab in this section you can see this view reference we usually use view reference for uh, showing the placement of a section and the elevation that it creates so if i put this in here and we already had a section in this part for example let me just create one like this okay so this is going to be section number two if we go to the elevation go to this section go to view like this we have something like this and this is our elevation so if we place this inside a sheet i'm going to create a new sheet let's see if we already have one i'm going to just simply create a new sheet in you know, let's say c title block in here i'm going to place this c section number two section in this part and now if I go back to this first level, uh, I can see that this section is filled with the information for this section and the way it creates that elevation. And I can simply create this view reference for this section. If you look at this view reference in top part, you can switch this view type to a section. What we want to show is a section. And down here, you can select which section you want it to show so i'm going to switch to this one and in here i can see the information so i'm going to just simply hide this because mm, a section is cutting a view a plan anything and it might take a lot of space and this way of showing a section is much better especially if your plan uh, is showing a lot of information and it is full with details so if you double click on a view reference you go to that same elevation if we go back to this level one the way we can see this view reference is not showing us enough information of course it is showing us the detail and the sheet number but it is not enough maybe we need more information maybe we need the directions maybe we need like the mm, name of that elevation or things like this so to create a more professional view reference as you saw we do not have that specific family in our category but what we have is this default family in here you can go to this edit family and in this part we can edit it and customize it to our needs i'm going to delete all of these parts and then i will create a line in the center okay this is going to be the center of our family i'm going to create it like this and i'm going to place them exactly in the center okay now i will go to create section and we this line and the circle i'm going to create a circle in here and then a uh, view reference can have different types of like shapes and this is the one that 
I want to create in here and in this part okay something like this then I am going to go to create section and use this field region with this peak line select this section and these two parts and then I'm going to trim these parts hit finish and then we are going to change this field region I want this section to be black I don't want any pattern in here so I'm going to create a duplicate of that and switch this to solid field with black color click on ok and this is what we have also I'm going to create a line in this part these two lines should be like invisible lines inside the project but this is the line that I want to see because I want to divide my view reference into two different parts next I'm going to go to create section with this label I'm going to click on this part these are the options that we can add to our view reference we can add the detail number sheet name and sheet number these are two parts that I want to see so I'm going to add them one by one sheet name I want it to be set exactly in the center and also the size is a little too much I prefer it to be a little smaller I will keep it like this because we need to change it maybe multiple times to find the best size but I want to like uh, make it transparent you just need to switch this background from opaque to transparent to see the lines or information beyond that also I'm going to add another label as the sheet number like this click on ok and okay I'm going to place it under this part maybe this can go up and this section can be here okay so this is what I want my reference view to show then the thing that is very important about these reference views uh, is that you need to like rotate them in four different like directions north south east and west for that you can just simply check this rotate with component and then we are going to load it into our project override the existing version and this is what we have you can see unnamed in here so let's check the sheet in here these are the sheets this is the sheet number just double click on this part and let's change the name to section number two click on ok and this is what we have we can either uh, change the size of these text or make the circle a little bit bigger this is the not usual scale and i think you should set it either in this scale or 1 by 50 so in these two cases you can see how it looks inside your project and you can decide if you want to like change it or not i'm going to put this on 1 by 100 and then i want to just maybe make one of them smaller maybe make both of them smaller i will go back to my family and in here i'm going to go to edit type let's duplicate this one to um, just two millimeter click on ok change this text size to two change the font to what you want i usually use this one and then click on ok i'm going to switch the type of this tag label to this one too and then i'm going to like place it a little bit in the center then i am going to like load it again into my project and this looks much better so this is our view reference and if we want to like rotate it maybe 90 degrees it might not look that much good because you should not like rotate your head to see an information or a data like this 
instead of this i do have a much better plan that we can use so i'm going to delete this one and let's go back to our family i will move all of these down in here let's move them in this part so we can place them exactly in here so for these sections we can like make them a little bit smaller because this is too much i want to i do not want to see all of them inside the project okay so this is what we have for maybe the north direction okay i'm going to select all of these and then i will in the visibility section i'm going to create a parameter let's call it north i will make it instance click on ok and ok then i will use the same parameter for all of these sections too for the texts and maybe for this field region which is already inside the parameter and to select these lines to check them again this label and this label okay so all of these are now inside the north view if we check or uncheck this uh, we can see or like hide this part i will select all of these okay two labels the lines and field region and then i'm going to rotate it for the top part too so i'm going to use this line to mirror it for the other side and then i'm going to select all of these without this line and this line and then i'm going to rotate them with this copy checked from the center 90 degree like this okay so it might be a little challenging to select the parts that we want but we already know what we have this way i think okay and these two labels these will be another section they can be like south because it is showing the south direction make them instance click on ok and ok i'm going to repeat it for the other parts too like this and select this section mm, in this part i don't think we have selected any extra thing we should see that later select these two and then this will be the west create a new parameter let's call it west click on instance okay and okay and the last part i will select them this way uncheck it let's select the labels to this section a new visibility option this will be the east mm, this way click on instance okay and okay so these are the view references let's check them inside the project i'm going to load it again uh, before that before we load them i want to go to this section and i just want to keep one of these sections checked i'm going to click on ok let's check the preview visibility in this part okay so now that we just have the east checked we have it this way if i switch this to north and click on apply we have it like this i'm going to click on ok and now i will turn this off load this into the project overview existing version and in here we have it on north section now if i select it in the properties section there is nothing which is weird because we made all of those options instance so we should have them in this part if you go to edit type 
there is nothing in here too so there isn't any like type option to type properties too so there is another way that we can use the view reference in different like directions i'm going to go back to this part and if we go to this family type in the top section we have this top name i'm going to create a new type and this will be the north option click on ok and in here we have just north checked i'm going to click on apply and then we are going to create another one there will be thous click on ok i will uncheck this check this thous click on apply create another one the east click on ok and check and check apply and the last one will be the west click on ok uncheck this and check this option click on apply and let's see if it is working or not i am in north so it is showing the north let's go with thous correct the east and the west click on ok and now i will load it again into my project now if i select this component it shows no changes neither we have any change in the properties section but if we go to edit type we can see all of them in here i'm going to switch to for example this east and apply like this it will change so in this section we have two different options we can either create duplicated type for example in here i'm going to go with view reference mm, let's go with east and click on ok and ok again then i'm going to create another duplicate and this time it will be the west click on ok switch this to west apply and ok then another one for the north and south after that you can see them in this part as the types of the main reference view or view reference okay or you can go to the family section in here and you can save each one of these instead of going to this part and changing them you can just simply create each one of these one by one save them as a separate family as a north family south family east family for example let me just show you how it should done i'm going to for example delete all of these and these parts I will save this save as a family in here and this will be the south options i need just one click on ok and save then i'm going to like select all of these parts without this line rotate it without this option for the north view and then i'm going to just save this again as a family this will be the north option one and then we can save them after this i am going to go to my reference view now if i select this or any other view reference in the properties section i will see these two types but if i want to like load another family so in here i have these two families separate families that i can use in any other project and there isn't that much difference between them just the way you can use them in any other template or in any other project is i think a very important thing and it saves you a lot of time so thank you so much for watching until now i really hope you enjoyed and learned these techniques and methods and I will see you next time.